today we're going to be trying out Suds Radiance Wristless Wash. And this product right here for you only have to use garden hose. You're just going to use buckets. We're going to use two buckets. Right here is one with the product in it. We're going to soak our mint for a few minutes. And we're going to have another bucket to uh, rinse out our mint with clean water. we got the uh, quick guards on each one of them. And we're going to be using it on this 2004 F-150. It's not that dirty. So this, this product's going to work great for uh, getting this cleaned up. It's just a little bit of dirt. A little bit of salt on it. Now, you don't want to use this product if you have tons of dirt. Um, real heavy dirt. You're going to want to take it to a, maybe a spray car wash. And then you can use this stuff maybe at, in a coin wash. This is great for if you live in apartments also in wintertime. Like right now, it's 37 degrees. So this is product uh, it will work great. We don't have to get the garden holes out and try to roll that up in the freezer and so on. We're going to let the mint go in. And stay tuned. We're going to uh, continue to some footage of... Uh, how much product we put in the buckets so uh all right continue to watch Wait for this suds box radiance rinse this wash we're gonna be adding one ounce to two gallons of water we're gonna use warm water this is a little over four gallons this bucket right here so uh, we'll fill it up and we will add two ounces a little over two ounces we'll do a little extra Hurt. So let's fill this up. It's gonna go warm water because it's only like 37 degrees outside. I bought the wrong ones. This is milliliters. So one ounce is over 29 milliliters. So I kind of got it marked close to 30. So I just say 30 milliliters will be an ounce. So we're gonna add. So it should be around 60. Like that. A little over. Won't hurt. Well, we got a purple front of it. No, it's good. Kind of like almost more like a purple. And we've got picked up this sprayer right here. It's a pump sprayer. So we're going to use that also too today using the princess wash i'm going to put in here like maybe about a half an ounce in the water let it sit we're going to pump it up and we're going to kind of prep the, the truck for cleaning all right let's go outside and try this stuff out got the kids being my camera man. and then plus two for too cold put some rubber gloves on i'm using them on hot water Got that bit product. So start the top, work the bay back, go back and forth first. It's kind of short, so just have to make do flipping around. It does a pretty good job. This bucket might take a little longer. Second time using this product. So far, I like it. You can kind of spread it out. You want to wet up, wet the surface up. And back and forth. You don't want to do circles. But you can feel how it gives a nice slickness when you touch it. Basically, that's about it. We're going to continue to go on with the truck. And then we'll, I'm going to show you another method with uh, using the sprayer. So we got the sprayer, and I have the same product from Suds, the richest washes in here with warm water. I put about a half ounce, and we got about 48 ounces. We're gonna pump it up, and then what I would do is I'm gonna spray down the vehicle a panel, so I kind of get it prepped up, and then we'll use the mint. And this way, in my opinion, this way probably be the best way to go. You don't have to really worry about the scratches. You got the product in here. And we can spray down the, the vehicle. And basically the product's already working. Then we can take the mitt. And wash it up. I think this way would be probably, in my opinion, a safer way to do it. And not worry about the scratches. 
What do you guys think? Pretty nice product. You don't have to get the holes out. You can even do this at the quarter, the quarter car wash also. Should start up here, but for the video, I'm gonna just do the panels. Straight back. continue to go and then when I'm done washing it with the product we're gonna dry it off with double 07 and good product uh, to, for drying aids we're gonna leave it wet we're gonna dry it off with this close to I want it halfway down anyway uh, because I want to put some distilled water in this product and I want to use it on the, uh, the charger on the interior because you can go 50 50 distilled water and the product double 07 for your interior I'm gonna try it out on the interior um, that'd be the next video on the Double O Seven. Plus, two, I have a video on the Double O Seven, drying off the charger with it. If you'd like to uh, check it out, it's up to you guys. So we'll just continue to go. I'll have the link for the sprayer from Amazon. I think I paid like twelve dollars. Works pretty good. You can adjust your uh, nozzle. Want it straight? Want a little uh, spray? You got the product in here. You can put soap in here, anything. And this is one reason why I do the wheels last in the winter. We'll have to use a different bucket. Nice with this truck, it's not that big. Plus two, if I wouldn't use it if it's really trashed. I was sprayed off with quarter car wash and then used this product. You don't want to use the brushes there. And plus two winter, we're just getting it cleaned up. Getting all the junk off of it from our winter. We've been having a mild winter, so it hasn't been too bad. And you can see how it just cleans pretty good. I got some, left some wax on there. What do you guys think? For those trucks, it sounds pretty good. Right, I'm gonna continue to go, then we'll come back and we'll dry it off. We're gonna use the old Microsoft towel. Do the wheels. The reason why I'm doing the wheels last for this uh, rinse and wash is, as you can see my good wash mint that we use on the paint, that's in the clear water. We're gonna do the wheels, and we're gonna spray them down. This, this truck's pretty easy, these wheels. I'm not worried about the tires right now. We just wanna get the vehicle cleaned up a little bit. For the winter, we'll use an old Microsoft towel and basically just clean them up. I mean, that's how I do it. I'm sure there's uh, everyone else got different ways, but I don't want to get my good, you know, towels, wash mitts, I mean, into my vehicle so that's pretty clean. That's easy on that. I'm not going to worry about tires. They're not that bad. We're not going to put any armor all on it. And then you got your spray here. We can put it down, basically get it all ready. I got my guard in there, and then I'll clean this bucket out real good before I use it for my next wash. And this one, we're just doing a quick, quick cleanup because it is getting a little cold out. But this, of course, the sun's going down. And you can get in these lips too. Get it cleaned up truck nice and clean there we have it for that so let's get to drying oh I left uh, the towels in the truck so they stay nice and clean so we'll get you some nice uh, drying towels that we're gonna use the double 07 see how it looks on this nice old truck and this can be our drying aid you can do use this product to uh, wet or dry but we're gonna use a drying aid we can uh, spray it all down it is cold huh? ain't it cold out you want to use my stool dry it up Keep 
the truck looking good. I had to go over it a couple times because it's a little nippy out. That's the hood. It's still damp. These towels are not the best. I bought some new ones. I just got to wash them. I got some new ones for Christmas. I need to wash them up. I got them uh, from Shirley's Detailing. A couple from them and uh, some Adams. I just got to wash them up and uh, use them. This product too, you don't have to use a lot of double seven gloss enhancer. Just spray a little bit on there. The charger's still shining. From the product, garage dirty. Oh, I should put those gloves on. I'm freezing. All right, let me continue to dry it, and we'll see the final result. Okay, okay, we're back. We dry the vehicle off, and uh, we'll take a quick look. Of course, every time I do a detailing video, it's I always lose my life. If you guys ever watch my other uh, channel, I mean the other videos. Plus, it's cold out. We're trying to get it done quick. But look at the shine on 2004 F-150. Look at that. Really nice. That's a nice shine. Let's do a. Uh, do a quick walk around we'll check it out with the radiance ritless wash you can see the shines it up pretty good Oh yeah, paint's still looking pretty good on this old truck. Got a little bit of smears, need to finish. It's kind of hard to drive those towels. I used to go over it again, you can kind of see it streak a little bit. That's my towel's fault. But look at that. So yeah, with the sprayer too, with the rinse this lot wash, rinse this wash with the sprayer, the pump sprayer, I recommend it to uh, prep your uh, paint with this before uh, using the the mid on a bucket. I think it would be, I think it takes away a little bit of you not uh, scratching, us not scratching. But that's my opinion. Um, you can use it the other way, the first way I showed you, or you can use this. I feel more comfortable with the sprayer first and then wash it. And then some of these techniques too I get from other channels, other YouTube channels. And a lot of you guys don't follow those channels, so I figure I uh, use some of these techniques and these, these products. Not the exact same product, but some of the equipment they use, the detailers. So, so we'll we'll have our th final thoughts on the, the Suds box. Let's just wash and a 007 on the truck. We're all done with the, the truck. So my take on a Suds Radiance Rich Gloss, yeah, A+. Plus. Um, I can see myself always having this on the shelf so when I can use it for days like this. And you don't want to get the, the holes out. Uh, it works great. Even if uh, the vehicle's not that really dirty and you want to get it ready for a car show, this be perfect. And then you don't have to get all your uh, garden holes and stuff like that out. And of course, the 007, great product. It's trying to the truck up pretty good. We waxed it before uh, winter. We put a ceiling on it, and that was in September. Right now, it's uh, gonna be January 1st. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. So, definitely both products happy. So, I keep saying so. Oh, so, I keep saying. All right, so that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching, liking, and commenting all the time. So the two products are great. This product is a little costly on the 007, but uh, 
might as well use it. I mean, got to keep we got to take care of our vehicles and keep them shining and clean. So yeah, definitely a good product for a daily driver. I know most guys use these products on high-end cars, but us, we're gonna use it on our regular everyday vehicles that most people have. So, and then. The next video on a 007 is going to be on the interior on a Dodge Charger. We're going to try it out. Even though the Charger is pretty clean interior, we're just going to wipe it down and see what it looks like and see what kind of protection we'll get from a 007 on there. And then a Sud's definitely going to keep this on the shelf and use it. And um, yeah, really nice product. Really like it. it. Smells good too. Leaves your hands nice and smooth also. So you guys have a great one later. Right there. You my number one? You my number one? Come on. You my number one? You gonna make a YouTube video with me? No. <laughs>